green elephant bursts through the door to play hide-and-seek with the man who haunts this house. Boy pretends he's not there, never welcomes the brute, relies solely on silence, hopes that he'll disappear. At cocktail hour, stinking piles dapple the den. Boy's mother shovels them up come morning. As she toils, she hides found objects. Empty prescription bottles, glasses dregged with wine, bruises. She pulls shame from pockets, tosses it into the brackish air. By ten, Boy has furnished a no-big-deal room he's built inside his head. A spot cleansed of whiskey, beer, where elephants and men are punished for trampling family dinners, birthday parties, Christmas gifts. At thirteen, wishes for one normal day consume boys' hours. The elephant disappears each morning after, but the man soon regroups, calls the beast back each night saying, Come on in, only one. Just one more, dear. As he grows, boy will learn to avoid thrusting tusks, flee from leathery skin and the dung heap that's home. And the truth? It's unspeakable. Never admit to the guilt, just stare through it with unfocused eyes. At 18, thoughts will dare him to speed the next curve, leap unseeing from unexplored cliffs, fall or fly. He'll have learned to shun joy with his dangerous touch and to puncture each smile with a cynical thrust. As a man, Boy will think he's not good enough, stuff his cupboards with needs that have never been met by the vague, undependable men of his world. And someday, when his life becomes too much to bear, he will open the door to the beast that once lived there and be connected. <laughs>